Sergeant Garcia, I'm going to meet the governor out on the Camino Real. I want everything to be spick and span when we get back. You heard what the captain said. You'd better get everything spick and span. As for me, I'm going to pay a visit to the most beautiful woman in California. And maybe also get a good breakfast. <sighs> Great news. You're free to take over the accounting for me? Uh, no, silly. I'm going to ask Carmen to marry me. Ah, oh, Diego! A wedding! A feast! It's marvelous! <laughs> it is nice how calm everything is now we're rid of Monasterio. But you'll either have to give up mm. being Zorro, or else reveal everything to Carmen. Flowers. Doña Maria, uh, I have to plan a wedding. <gasps> or two, if you would become Mrs. Demetrio Garcia. <laughs> Don Diego, come on and we'll go ask for the hand of Senorita Carmen. Wait, now? <laughs> Not so soon. I, I have no idea what to tell her. Oh, my flowers! Hey. Come on, Don Diego. <laughs> See your wedding banquet from here, Don Diego. There'll be tons of tortillas and cakes, plus a river of hot chocolate. <laughs> oh, hello, Diego. <laughs> well, now, Don Diego, don't be shy. We are at Carmen's, your future. <laughs> uh, I have come to see Carmen. Oh, well, she's not here, lad. And she didn't tell me where she went. <gasps> what about my river of hot chocolate? You need to go find Carmen right now! Lancer Puig, reporting for duty. The whole garrison from Monterey is here. Ready to follow orders, Lieutenant. Good. I need trusty men for this mission. Oh! The governor will have lunch at my house before going to Los Angeles. Be ready, men. Okay, Doña Isabella. Hmm. Teaching them agriculture is a marvelous idea, Carmen. Luis, stop pestering Carmen with such details. You can see she wants to bolt out of here. Here we are, finally. <sighs> My dear Don Luis, your discussions of building a school are such a snore. Uh, please, tell me you're planning on throwing a huge ball in my honor. <laughs> yes, of course, a ball. <laughs> Men, mm. arrest him as well! Ah, what, what's going on? Don Esteban Parasol! You are under arrest, sir, for corruption. Oh, Captain Toledano, have you gone mad? Luis, uh, it's the truth. Look at this. I found this notebook in his luggage. Don Parasol has been stealing money from us Californians. Wait! I've never seen that notebook. Oh, what? Are you calling me a liar? I believe you, my dear. Don Esteban, shame on you. You are a bandit. I implore you, Luis. You must become the governor. For the sake of all California. You may be right. I have a duty. Don Esteban, I promise you will have a fair trial in Spain. Before his majesty. Oh! I forgot the school's floor plan. I need to go back. I'm going to write His Majesty and explain everything. 
Quick, hide the governor. Hurry! Hello, it's me again. I forgot the floor plan. Oh, there it is. Hmm. Uh -huh. Oh dear, I'm running late for a meeting. I must be going. Goodbye. Hmm. Yeah. Arrest her! Stop that young woman! Yes, yes sir! Let me go, you big brutes! <laughs> Dear Carmen, I am ever so sorry, but I will have to keep you here for a while. No! 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 Get them, senorita! Fight them! Teach these traitors a good lesson! Hmm. I order you to cease resisting arrest! She's done. Senorita Carmen, we've looked everywhere. Soldiers. <laughs> what? <sighs> I'm in charge of this honor guard. <gasps> Corporal, move out of the way. That's an order from your superior. Hmm. We couldn't find her, Carlos. Keep an eye open, will you? I'll go check nearby haciendas. Mm-hmm. Carmen's. <sighs> Too many horses have been by. I can't tell what's what. Uh. Yeah. Diego? Carmen's missing. What? We have to call all our rancheros to put together a search party. Let's go get father. <sighs> Don Parasol. You are the governor, the man who wields the most power in California. You alone can save us. You really think so? Hmm. Ah. <laughs> Wait, I got it. Ah. Brilliant, my dear. <laughs> hmm. ah. <laughs> That'll teach you to mess with the governor of California. <laughs> Come on, quick. We're ready. We can go into town. Are you sure that the forged notebook will work to convince them that Parasol's a criminal? Of course. Don't worry. I'd never let them get close enough to read it. Ah, I told them, didn't I? That I'm innocent. Get that man! Catch him! Catch him! Hmm. Uh, soldiers, uh -huh. quick! My carriage! Oh. I have to hurry back to Monterey! Uh, well, no, but I... Uh, Don't resist, uh, senorita. Uh, you have no uh, hope of... Uh, no! Uh, <laughs> go! Uh, uh, uh. And now, dear, now that you know the whole story, I can't afford to let you leave, you see? What a shame. I rather liked you, Carmen. We're not done yet, Doña Isabella. Hmm. You just wait. Zora will come save me. Hmm. Granted, he has saved you on numerous occasions. Oh, I get it. You and he are friends. Zorro has been getting in my way from the day I arrived here in Los Angeles. You don't choose your friends very well, my dear Carmen. Tortillas, chocolate, lemonade. Is this just gonna go on like this? <laughs> Long live Governor Don Parasol! Let us through, Sergeant. That's weird. Where's the governor? And who are these backups? We weren't told about this. Garcia, huh? manure duty. I will teach you to ask stupid questions. Silence! 
The governor has stolen from you Californians. The evidence is in this notebook. Don Parasol's been arrested. He'll be on the first boat to Spain to appear before his judges. What? Not a man as sweet and important as our governor. My dear Luis, will you please, darling, hmm. step up and protect all California by taking over as governor? Hmm. Citizens of California, you can count on me. Here we go. All those opposed, raise your hands. <laughs> Fine. Long live Governor Verdugo! Hmm. Wait. I have lots of respect for Don Luis Verdugo, but isn't this all going a bit too fast? If Governor Parasol embezzled from California, then we should be allowed to ask him to reply to our questions. I agree. That's true. We'll get to the bottom yes. of this. Yes. Where is he? Bring him out. Yes, and we have found his notes. Bring his notebook. Be quiet! You cannot give orders to Governor Verdugo! This is ridiculous! Huh? Arrest him! Mm. No, don't do this. Let me talk to him. I'm in charge of security, Your Excellency. Let him go! <laughs> A father! Arrest these agitators! Oh, my goodness! Martial law is declared until further notice. Oh, that's unacceptable! You, you, you have no right this. to be doing this. Oh, this is not what I wanted. He doesn't look good. Good work, Bernardo. Arrest them! Catch him! Catch him! Oh. <laughs> Take him in! Oh, Don Alejandro. <laughs> it worked! Now we control California! Not yet, lad. We cannot allow Don Parasol to speak to the King of Spain. Maybe something awful could happen during his voyage? After all, boats can be so dangerous. <laughs> I hope that Zorro will try to save him. That way, I can capture him. And Carmen Villalonga, my dear Ignacio, couldn't she have a little accident on horseback? Say, high atop a seashore cliff? Uh, the governor, maybe, but not Senorita Carmen. You're in this up to your neck, Ignacio. You have no choice. If she talks, you go to prison, you huh? see. Hmm. Parasol a traitor? What a joke. Yes, this whole thing looks like it has Doña Verdugo's name all over it. Just her style. Time for action. Bernardo, Ines, you go get that notebook. Meanwhile, I'll find the governor and Carmen. Yeah. You? I'm trying to find the governor's forged notebook. It's definitely fake, isn't it? And I found it! Thanks for showing where you hid it. Bernardo in the river. Oh. 
Thank you, my dear. Parasol, where is Carmen Villalonga? I don't know. Toledano mentioned the ocean and high cliffs. I suggest you hide at the De La Vegas. They're trustworthy people. Yeah. <laughs> he didn't even help me up into my carriage. How impolite can Zoro be? There she is. Tornado, quick! Fast as the wind! Let this woman go! Help me! Hey, you! Are you sure the rules actually authorize you to toss pretty senoritas into the ocean? Got you! Thank you, Tornado. <laughs> but we've got to work on your timing. <laughs> Long live Governor Verdugo! against him is forged. My friends, rebel now against these traitors. Stop it. Senorita de la Vega is a dear friend of the army. That's right, huh? Sergeant. <gasps> <laughs> Arrest Carmen Villalonga and Sergeant Garcia. Oh, yeah? Arrest anyone who wants to arrest me. Huh? Uh, arrest, uh, arrest who? Arrest who? You're all in for a long stay in jail. Hmm? Do you understand why, Don Luis? Will you please forgive me for my errors? I should have prevented all of this and I failed, alas. Oh, you hmm. shouldn't be asking for forgiveness, Luis. You would have been the best governor in all of California's past and future. Boo! You suck! <laughs> Scoundrel left me alone out in the horrid countryside. I could have been eaten by bears, by vultures. Oh dear. Maybe we should have let him get shipped off to Spain after all. <laughs> Sergeant Garcia, you are hereby appointed temporary commander of the garrison in Los Angeles. <laughs> <laughs> 
Doña Maria, would you like to dance with the new military commander of Los Angeles? I'm in charge now. There you are. You have an outstanding bill that you can settle now. I was so proud of you today, Diego. You fought like a caballero. <sighs> Carmen, I have something to ask you. Yes. Huh? Yes, go on, Don Diego. <laughs> oh, pardon, senorita. Carmen, do you know Zorro? <laughs> My gracious, everyone knows about Zorro. Do you realize that Doña Isabella tried to throw me into the ocean just today because she thought I knew who really hides behind the mask of Zorro? Well, anyone who tries to harm you will have to contend with me and my secret weapon. <gasps> huh? <laughs> What a tremendous speech. Citizens of Los Angeles, please give a warm welcome to our beloved governor, Don Parasol. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. You're, you're too kind. Please. <laughs> I can't get enough of this. Thank you. Senorita, you are the rose of the shimmering desert with petals graced by the California sun. We haven't met. I'm Diego de la Vega, the brother of this desert rose. And you, dear sir? Lieutenant Ignacio Toledano, aide de camp to the governor. I'm also the nephew of Doña Isabella Verdugo. This, my friends, is the governor's speech. I am in charge of guarding it. Oh, the speech. Huge responsibility. Well, I'm carrying a thousand-page book. <laughs> hmm. Hmm, is that poetry? <laughs> My nanny was crazy about poetry. Hey, you! Oh. The seagull's got the speech! Come back here! <laughs> Come back! What in the world? <clears throat> and now, as the new Alcalde of Los Angeles, I'm overjoyed to announce my first decision. We shall begin building a school. A school? <laughs> Brother, just what we need. Here I thought that a new barracks might be more useful for the city's safety. And it's been agreed that Carmen da Villalonga shall be appointed as the very first principal of our new school. Oh my! I wasn't expecting this at all. I'll do it. <laughs> My friends, I'll gladly volunteer to teach reading. <laughs> fine, fine. Now, since we're all gathered here, I have a list of all the locals who still have not paid their taxes. And believe me, they will pay up immediately or get tossed in debtor's prison. No! Please be reasonable about this. I can't Unfair. believe that. Mm. <laughs> oh, so forceful. <laughs> what a soldier, huh? Well, Sergeant, what are you waiting for? Collect the taxes! Yes, sir! Yes, sir, sir! De La Cruz, one more peso. Wait. My ear can't be fooled, my friend. Please, we need that peso to feed the family and the cattle. The most we can accommodate you is um, a year in prison. No, no, no. Huh? My buttons! <laughs> <laughs> Loyal subject of his majesty. I have not yet paid my taxes either, gentlemen. I hope this oh. suffices. <laughs> well then, Captain, don't just stand there like a bump on a log. Arrest that bandit right this instant! <laughs> ah, 
I've got seed! Ah, help me! Oh, oh, we got, got him! We got him! Oh. Oh. Lancers, catch him! Yes, sir! Yes, sir! Too fast for you. Where is he? All right, you can have it. Really? Oh, changed my mind. <laughs> Soldiers, get him! Look out! <laughs> Don Parasol, these poor men actually need these pesos more than you, right? Shall I return their money? Uh, all the collected tax money's mm. gone! Evaporated! You're nothing but nincompoop, Monasterio! You're a big, lame zero! To catch Zorro, a desert turtle would be better and faster than you! <laughs> You're so very, very right, Your Excellency. In fact, my nephew here ought to be the right man to set out to capture Zorro. Oh. He's young, oh. intelligent, fearless. Excellent idea! I'll give carte blanche to my aide-de-camp, Lieutenant Toledano, so he can capture that bandit Zorro. Captain Monasterio, you will follow his orders. Mm. And if Your Excellency would accept, my husband and I would be honored to host you overnight in our hacienda. Oh. You will be far more comfortable than here in this garrison with all the sweat. <laughs> 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 My dear Ignacio, I suggest you leave all the skullduggery and dirty work to Captain Monasterio. That way, it'll be easy to pin the blame on him afterwards and be rid of him. Then I'll take over as the new captain. That's right, my dear. Excellent. Aguilera and De La Cruz. Yeah. Oh, what is this? Pesos. <sighs> Huh? Carmen, the school! Holy tortilla! I'm still in costume! Yeah. Uh, that was close. Oh, this is the perfect setting for the schoolhouse. What do you think, Father? Absolutely, my dear. <laughs> Good morning. Hmm. Diego, you can't be whooping it up all night and expect to teach reading the next morning. We need you here. Come on. Hmm. I know, Bernardo, but still, it's difficult to pretend. I can't commend you, Captain. I've never seen such a bunch of clumsy oafs. Stop! Oh. From here on out, the first man who steps out of line will get manure duty for a month! Forward march! orders must we follow now? Captain Monasterio's or Lieutenant Toledano's? Then again, it's kind of tricky as the governor has given carte blanche to Toledano. <laughs> hmm? Lieutenant Toledano, hmm. uh, my respects. I simply meant to say that, uh, that, uh, you look, uh, quite handsome in that uniform. Hmm. 
Gonzalez, you're on manure huh? duty. That'll teach you not to lick anybody's boot but mine. As for me, I refuse to choose. Matter of fact, I'm off to the inn. Sergeant Garcia, no man abandons his post no matter what. Eight laps huh? round the garrison. Hop to it. Eight laps? Stop that immediately! Who is this man? Antonio Ramirez de la Paterna, my fencing master. I have fencing lessons every morning. Is that a problem by any chance? Senor Ramirez is not a soldier. Only military personnel may enter this garrison. That's the rule, my man. You ought to read it someday. Last lap. Sergeant, since you clearly enjoyed that, eight more should be a snap. Tell me, Lieutenant, besides reciting the garrison's house rules, do you plan on arresting Zorro one day? Matter of fact, I'll get him today, Monasterio. Nice group of hard workers we have here. And we know Zoro doesn't like this. I believe the question is, will Zoro fall into the trap I've set? Oh, he certainly <laughs> will, Lieutenant. That bandit always rushes in to help the weakest. Yes, I think we are all set for him. <laughs> What's going on? Captain Monasterio is making us build a new schoolhouse without <gasps> paying us or giving us food. Doing your karma. What? Captain, that's awful. Let these poor men go back to their farms. What's this? I start building your school and you're upset? Men, uh, take Senorita Villalonga back to her home. I'll... Oh. I'll complain to Don Luis Verdugo. <laughs> 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 well now, I hear that the school's already open. Have you come to learn how to read, Captain? Huh? Hmm. It's time you learned to be quiet. Repeat after me. A, B, C, D for disarm. <laughs> Get that man! Yes, sir! Tornado. <laughs> Looking tired, chintz. At the end of your rope? Just that man, you boggling... <laughs> Here comes more. Troops! Go get him! Move away! I'm going to capture Zoro. <laughs> Governor's orders. Come now, no squabbling, lads. There's plenty of me for everyone. <laughs> After you. I'll enjoy seeing how good you are at fencing. Aha! Duel. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a lot. Next, please. Oh. Hey! <laughs> On guard. <laughs> Little Z, dear Lieutenant. <laughs> It's my turn, my friends. <laughs> Watch out! <laughs> hey, it's me, Zoro. I'm down here. Captain Zoro! <laughs> Attack! I got you, Zoro. Excuse me. <laughs> Close call, Tornado. We'll have to keep an eye on that Toledano. He's not nearly as stupid as he looks, don't you agree? <laughs> I had him! How could he have gotten away? Never give up hope. I'm sure you will nab him next time, <laughs> Lieutenant. 
I'm going to use that imbecile to capture Zoro, and I'll get all the honors and glory. After all, if he nearly nabbed him... Hmm. Captain, Carmen told me everything. As this town's alcalde, you are hereby officially warned not to force the inhabitants of my city to work against their will. Oh! Hmm. As you wish, sir. Hmm. Oh, no, the school. Carmen! You're too late, Diego. Class is over now. It's just... I've had so much to do as of late. Nothing requires you to give reading classes, Diego. I can find somebody else to do it, you know. Hmm. It's not your fault, Diego. If Carmen knew what you really do, she'd forgive you instantly. That's the problem. Sometimes it's hard being Zoro. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, there's my new plan. I shall capture Zoro by attacking his new protégés, the weakest of the Chumash. Zoro has often defended them, and since they are just Indians, we won't have any real problems. I have to admit, it's a brilliant idea. But I, and I alone, will arrest Zoro. We're on our way to the Chumash village, and we're going to arrest their chief and medicine woman, Tyna! <gasps> we know already. No need to yell. Have you heard? Lieutenant Toledano is riding out to arrest Tyna. Grandmother? Huh? But why? Mm. Yeah. Yeah. That's her! Tyna! Arrest her! What for? She has done no harm. Arrest him as well! Who else wants to protest? Yeah. Let go of my daddy! No. Now what? As soon as Zoro shows his face, I want you to set something on fire so that it looks accidental. That'll keep him here. Excellent idea. <laughs> This time, Zoro, you're mine. <laughs> well done, my friend. Alert! Zoro! What? Stop it! And him was the plan. Let's use that imbecile scheme. We'll set that hut on fire, and that'll stop Zoro in his tracks. Hmm. We'll tie him up near the fire, and uh, we'll be rid of him once and for all. We can easily pin the blame on Zoro. <laughs> Tyna, it's truly a pleasure to see you again. Grandmother, mm. are you all right? They did not arrest me for long. I'm starting to get used to this. Fire! 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 Ah, here you are again. Ah! I'll try this. <laughs> hmm. Huh, works well. Fire! Fire! Oh my, that is the man who came to arrest me. Who put him here? It would seem that whoever lit this fire also wanted to get rid of you, Lieutenant. It's Captain Monasterio who had the idea of setting this fire. He's the one to blame. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Good job. 
Men, arrest this bandit Zoro! But, Lieutenant, he just helped us. Let's go, Tornado. Goodbye, everyone. Your Excellency, I'm not the one who hatched the idea of setting that Chumash hut on fire. He did. What? How dare you? Such lies, Monasterio. You should be demoted, stripped of your rank, and discharged from the army. What? <laughs> Sorry, Captain, but I still like you, my friend. You'll finish your lives in a jungle prison in Mexico. Henceforth, Lieutenant Toledano will be in charge of the garrison in Los Angeles. You can count on me, dear Tyna, to pay for rebuilding the hut that burned. Oh, so what? Huts don't matter. Quick, get me back to a place that's civilized. To Monterey. Garcia. Because of your insubordination, I wasn't able to arrest that Zorro. This means you need punishing. <laughs> There's manure to shovel, boots to wax. Come now, my dear Ignacio. Let us not be too hard on this poor sergeant. All right, Garcia, you're excused. Thank you, Doña Verdugo. Be nice to everyone. Patience. And you'll soon see us become the absolute masters of all California. Captain! Zorro! I hear military jails are quite nice in Mexico! Adios! That brooch is just perfect. It complements your youthful figure, Your Excellency. <laughs> well, I do my best to keep in shape. <laughs> Los Angeles is growing, Your Excellency, and it needs an alcalde to run it. My husband, Don Luis, is the right man for the position. Hmm. Well then, you'll be delighted, my dear Isabella. I shall appoint an alcalde. Mm. I shall name Don Alejandro de la Vega. What? Great idea, isn't it? Mm. You two, hurry up! I don't pay you just to stand around. <laughs> Inez, what are you doing here? <laughs> oh! No! Oh! No, my name's Rosa. Excuse me, I'm terribly clumsy. This happens all the time. This is incredible. It's Inez de la Vega's perfect double. This is the opportunity I was looking for. I sailed here from Mexico City oh. and I'm looking for a job. I can read and write. I've had good schooling. I'm willing to do anything. Mm -hmm. Anything? I might have a job for you. Something rather special involving acting. It would be to play a little joke on somebody I know. <laughs> oh, fun! I'm actually good at acting. Just watch this. <laughs> Oops, excuse me. It happens to me all the time. Hmm. Never mind about that, my dear Rosa. You and I are going to do a little shopping. This dress fits me perfectly. Thank you, Doña Isabella. Expect people to call you Ines. Above all, don't act the least bit surprised. Hmm. Have you got the documents I gave you earlier? Don't you worry now. I know exactly what I have to do. I've memorized my line. <sighs> and speak no more than needed. Do you understand? Yes, yes, of course. <laughs> Senorita de la Vega. Hmm. <laughs> I could never wriggle it. Oh. 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 Excuse me, senor. Thank you very much. Yes, Senorita de la Vega, you've dropped something. 
What's come over her? Hmm. Oh, Captain! Oh. Captain! Captain Monasterio! <laughs> Hello, Captain Monasterio. What brings you all this way? Don Alejandro, you and all the De La Vegas are under arrest, sir, for high treason. What? Oh! This is ridiculous. I, I, I'm sorry, Don Alejandro. And him? Forget him. He's not even a Vega. Now, go fetch that Don Diego. Hmm. No, Captain, you've no right to do this. He's done nothing wrong. Oh, you don't say. Senorita Ines, I think that you lost this out in front of my garrison. What? The garrison of Los Angeles will be attacked at nightfall, and Captain Monasterio will be shackled, etc., and etc. It's a plot against the army. No, it wasn't me. Come now, Captain. You can't be serious. Let's have no more lies. Everyone saw her. Furthermore, it's signed by you, Don Alejandro. Toss him in prison. Uh, get your hands off me! <sighs> All right, I understand. Let's try to figure it out first. Go upstairs. Corporal, yes, you go check the stables, and I'll, uh... I guess I shall simply give the kitchen a thorough inspection. Rosa, you must stay inside this house until I come back to fetch you. Now, is that clear? You aren't playing a joke, are you, Doña Verdugo? You're actually up to no good. Otherwise, you wouldn't make me promise to stay in this musty old cabin. Mm -hmm. Oh, you've nothing to fear, dear Rosa. I've already told you. I'm not the one who has anything to be afraid of. It's you, right? If I told people in town what I'm doing for you... Oh, why on earth would you do that, sweet Rosa? I wouldn't do it at all. Mm. If you were to give me bags full of pesos about this big... Whoa! Oh, you shall get what you deserve. Hmm. Nobody here. Oh. Oh. <laughs> mm. So delicious. <laughs> oh. Mm. Oh, get out of my kitchen, Sergeant! You certainly won't find Don Diego in my kettles! We haven't found Diego de la Vega, hmm. Sergeant. Me neither. Oh, that does it. Don Diego's not here! It's back to the barracks! Oh, thank you, Doña Maria! <laughs> Hands off! That's for Don Alejandro and Senorita Ines. And when you bring it to them, it better still be full. Bernardo, what we need to do right now is prove my father and Ines are innocent. Hmm. For sure, Monasterio is capable of telling big fibs when he wants to get rid of our family, but not the Angelinos. So let's go ask them to tell us what they saw. It's a shame a pretty woman like you is bound for a labor <gasps> camp. Of course, I could set you free right now if you agreed to be Signora Monasterio. <clears throat> I'd sooner do hard labor. You will pay for that, Signorita. Yes, dearly. Uh, my poor little girl. Let's not lose hope, Father. We'll get out of here. Hear ye, hear ye, Captain of Los Angeles! In the presence of His Excellency, our venerable, honorable, Governor Don Esteban Parason. <laughs> the 
The defendants, Don Alejandro de la Vega, his daughter, Ines, and his son, Diego, are judged guilty of committing high treason, plotting against the crown, public disturbance, huh? Huh? contempt, and rebellion, defamation, and assaulting an officer of his majesty. Consequently, all the possessions of the Vega estate are hereby confiscated. Don Alejandro, Ines, and Diego de la Vega are hereby sentenced to life in jail with hard labor. Your Excellency, we are innocent. Silence! Oh. Traitors aren't allowed to speak. Oh. Don Alejandro, I had faith in you. What a disgrace. But Captain Monasterio... What? Oh, huh? Hmm. Do not worry, Your Excellency. I will soon have captured the runaway Diego de la Vega. Thanks to me, these enemies of California will be put behind the bars. Oh, I'm hungry. Carlos! So then, Ines dropped some papers on her way to the barracks. And then she ran away and fell flat on her face. Not once, but twice. That doesn't sound like her at all. Carlos! Hello! Oh, Diego! It's Don Diego! Catch him! Sir! Yes, sir, sir! Ow. Surrender, Don Diego! You will only get hurt! Oh. Please, Don Diego, come uh, back! Diego! Diego! <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. My yummy sausages. <laughs> Sergeant, that will be five pesos. Today's special. Tonight, Corporal. Me? I'm not the hunt to sink. We could be sitting now at Carlos's, enjoying a delicious tortilla. He has a brand new recipe. Everyone says it tastes like. Oh! Zorro! Tastes like Zorro? No, there! Zorro! You're seeing Zorros everywhere, Sergeant. Oh! I'm so hungry that it's making me hallucinate. Documents accuse my family with patent falsehoods. Yes, but the fakie Ness managed to convince everybody. Who is she really? Who is she working for? We have to force our enemies to reveal themselves. Let's swing into action and help the prisoners escape. Surely you know we're innocent. You can't stand by idly and let them ship my father and my sister off into exile. You know we'd like to help you, Diego. But we have to think about our families. We'd put them in danger if we went against the governor and the captain. Don Alejandro is my oldest friend, and I will never let him down. Me neither. <laughs> Phew. I thought we'd wind up all alone. Why don't we invite the governor and the good captain over for a small party? Mm -hmm. It will be much easier if there are fewer soldiers in the barracks. What a good idea, my dear. 
don't you, Isabella? I don't know how to thank you. Oh, it's not necessary. <laughs> You'll sneak in at night. Choose any bedroom at the inn in Los Angeles. You will stay hidden. Nobody must see you. I'll be on the plaza at dawn. When you see me open my red umbrella three times, you'll go out on the balcony, and you will fire in the air above Governor's parasol. Now don't worry, dear. It's just a small blast of powder, and the soldiers won't set out looking for you. Instead, they'd be looking for Ines de la Vega. You must really hate the entire De La Vega clan, but I don't mind. Just as long as I'm well paid. Otherwise, you will get lots of money, Rosa. You may have left Mexico City a pauper, but you'll go back as rich as a princess. <laughs> oh, not again. Oops, excuse me. My dear friend, I just love receptions. In Monterey, we have the most wonderful ones. Bernardo, it's strange that Doña Verdugo should want to help us. Be very careful. You never know. Yeah. Everybody listen up. Let the prisoners go. Alert! Zorro! Zorro! Gonzalez, <laughs> don't bother, Corporal. It's just another hallucination. Hmm. It's Zorro. I got Z'd. We've all seen it's Zorro, Sergeant. Hey, you didn't Z me this time. Later, Corporal. I promise I'll make it up to you. <laughs> I see him. Get him. I give up. You soldiers are just too smart for me. I'll be back soon. Catch him, Lancers. Yes, sir. Bernardo? Lucky for us, Zorro dropped by, huh? <laughs> yeah. Luis, you're always there for me. You would have done the same thing for me, Alejandro. Hurry, you need to hide. Bernardo told me everything. Thank you, Tyna. But where is Diego? Hiding, but he will find the guilty parties. Gone. And what about Zorro? Where is Zorro now? Huh? Oh, so blasted, Beryl! Hmm. Oh. Oops. <sighs> this garrison's a big joke. We will track down the prisoners, Your Excellency. All this, I'm missing my breakfast. Mm. My hot chocolate's cold by now. Huh? Zoro, <laughs> arrest him! Oh. <laughs> I've just saved the governor, but no, don't thank oh, me. Look! Hmm. It's a nest! I saw it! She's the one who did it! Just a little bit higher! Whoa. Hey! Ah, impressive! Over there! They're behind the end! Get that out of my way! Yes, sir! Uh. Over there! Over there! Uh. 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 Capture Zorro! Not Ines de la Vega, Captain? Zorro! <laughs> I want Zorro! <laughs> <laughs> what are you waiting for, Sergeant? Well, it's not like I can fly, Captain. Well, then, learn mm -hmm. how to!
Adios, Captain. I think that you and this senorita will have lots to discuss. Adios! <laughs> ah, so we've caught our criminal. This time you won't escape your jail cell, Senorita de la Vega. Hold on. Uh, I oh. am Ines de la Vega. What's going on? I don't know. This woman is an imposter. Oh. <laughs> <gasps> She's part of a larger plot to get my family accused of treason. Oh, Diego! <gasps> It is true. It's not my sister who dropped the plans of that conspiracy in front of your barracks, Captain. It's her. Hmm. Uh, 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 oh, no! No! I'm uh, Ines, and she's the criminal! Oh, no! Oh. It's me! Uh, uh, Captain, you must believe me! Uh, oh. 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 I have had the honor of dancing with Ines de la Vega, and she is not at all clumsy. Arrest that girl! Sir, yes, sir. I've always known that you were innocent, Don Alejandro. Isn't that right, Captain? <gasps> mm -hmm. hmm. Uh, hmm. That's her! She hired me to say and do all this! Oh, how absurd! Uh, whatever for? The de la Vegas are dear friends. Ines is like my little sister. This accusation is unfounded, Your Excellency. Doña Isabella is kind and loyal, thoroughly honest. Mm. That's enough! Mm. We'll investigate to find out all about your pathetic plot. For now, it's prison! <gasps> oh. Ow! Zowie! Hmm. You showed such extraordinary courage, Your Excellency. Uh, <laughs> mm. Nothing to it. Just my duty. I must leave you now, yet with no alcalde to represent me, I do fear for Los Angeles. And you are my choice, Don Alejandro. <gasps> I'm... I'm overwhelmed, Don Esteban. Uh, but perhaps a better choice would be my friend Don Luis Verdugo, an honest ranchero whose sole desire is to serve Los Angeles. Well, so be it then. Henceforth, you shall be Alcalde of Los Angeles, Don Verdugo. An honor, Your Excellency. <laughs> Thank you, my friend. Long live Don Luis! Hooray! Hurrah for Don Luis! Hurrah for Los Angeles! She's so smooth. As usual, we can't prove a thing. Just you wait. We will, one day. Hurrah for Don Luis! Hurrah for Your Los Angeles! You Thank you. Forever. <laughs> You shall see. It wards off the worst nightmares. It will help you sleep like a baby. Mm. <laughs> ah! <laughs> <laughs> well, hello, everyone. <sighs> it's Sisquak! <laughs> when I grow up, I'll defend our village like Sisquak does. I'll snatch the captain on my stallion. And we'll feed him red orange. Sisquak has become a real hero. A hero in hiding. The moon has already crossed the sky twice. And Sisquak is still living on the mountain. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Captain Monasterio holds grudges, you know, and... Make way! Visitors, oh. look there! <laughs> Leave no stone unturned! Sisquak isn't here. You will have mm. searched our village for nothing. <gasps> hmm. uh, he's not here, Captain. Hmm. Posture, <laughs> mind your posture. An enemy lurking could sneak up and surprise you. Oh, 
Oh, <laughs> Captain, that Sisquok is so elusive. A man as important as you certainly must have bigger fish to fry. I'll wager if that poor devil's hiding, he's most likely scared. You know, scared of the powerful captain of Los Angeles. Obviously. My reputation. My military prowess. Oh, that smells good. Mm. May I? Hey! Oh. I suspect you are right. <laughs> We're wasting our time searching here. Lancers, return to the garrison! Yes, sir! Yes, sir! Yes, sir! Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> You nincompoop! That was close. Mm. You don't suppose we may have left too hastily? <laughs> of course we did! You just sit back and watch. That bowl Garcia picked up was an important bowl. Oh. <laughs> Who do you think ate from it? Turn around, men! The fugitive is still here! Search the village! Right. You know how Zoro's been keeping me busy these past few nights? He's here, Captain! He's here! He's here! He's here! He's here! He's here! He's here! Hey! Grab that man! Don't let him escape this time, or you'll be the ones going to prison! Catch him! Catch him! Sisquak, remember the name of the man who captured you. Corporal Gonzalez. Nobody rush out! Follow orders. Be disciplined. Get back. That's an order. The fugitive surrenders to me, your sergeant. It's a good thing we can always count on the troops in Monasterio to bungle their maneuvers. Hmm. Huh? No! No! Oh. Let go, Corporal! You may move aside while I arrest this dangerous criminal! Now shoo! No! He's mine! I, I caught him! Hmm, Sisqua. The governor awaits you in Monterey. He'll ship you to a camp in the hottest place in Mexico. You will spend the rest of your life there breaking rocks! <laughs> no, it's not fair. Uh, Captain, we all know that revenge is bad for your health. You should give him a pardon. <laughs> a pardon? <laughs> you must have read that in some book for pretty senoritas. <laughs> 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 Return to the garrison! Yes, sir! Yes, sir! Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> Monasterio sending Sisquak to Monterey. He'll send him to a labor camp. If he does, then we'll never get Sisquak back. I'll travel to Monterey to speak to that governor, Don Parasol. Wait, Grandmother, that's a voyage that takes several days. I will go. No Chumash brave will rot in a labor camp. This is not the moment to sit on our rumps counting butterflies, my little darling. Grandma. Hush, and go fetch the outfit for Zoro. You sure? Mm. Looks like she could eat Monasterio alive. <laughs> <laughs> Here I am. I went back to the house for a clean set of clothes. That way, I will look respectable in front of Don Parasol. Will this mm. suit of clothes help you in liberating Sisquak? Indeed. You'll see. The suit I chose is magical. That palace over there is the governor's mansion. Huh? Ah! Oh. oh. Yeah. <laughs> Please, senor. Hmm. Oh, Don Diego. 
You came to say your final goodbyes to him. He'll be on the first boat to a labor camp. He is not on that ship mm. yet. <laughs> mm. Don Diego, Senorita Ines, what brings you here? Your Excellency, I've come to beg you to pardon the young brave Sisquak. Oh, no, not that boring story again. The case is closed, Senora. It's way too sugary. I'm never going to serve that at my receptions. Mm. It's delicious. Oh, my, you are so right, Sergeant. They're delicious. Mm. Your Excellency, for months mm. now, Sisquak has lived in the mountains, alone, far from his tribe and family. Don't you think that that is sufficient punishment? No! Mm. That warrior attacked an officer of His Majesty's army. He deserves to be sent away. Governor, only a pardon will allow us all to live in peace. <laughs> be quiet, will you? Oh. Hush up! I don't want to hear any more talk about that sick sook. That Indian's name's unpronounceable. I have a reception two days from now, <laughs> and nothing's ready! <laughs> it's awful! And I have horrible nightmares every night! Nightmares? I have a solution to your problem, Your Excellency. Please accept this dream catcher as a gift from the Chumash Nation to guard your sleep. <laughs> Devilish idolatries! They bring bad luck. Don't be afraid, Your Excellency. Not only will you no longer have nightmares, but this dream catcher will help you make it a great reception that people will never forget. It will? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, of course, in exchange, we need to appease the spirits the Chumash way by giving a warrior back to the Chumash. Like Sisquak, for example. Wait, you can't possibly... If... Of course, Sisquak will apologize to the captain in public. Hmm. <sighs> Many thanks, Don Diego. I order the man's immediate release. Huh? Mm. Ah, but if he does it again, Captain Monasterio mm. may have him exiled. Oh. Hmm. I apologize, Captain Monasterio. What? What? This is a travesty! Many, many thanks, my friends. It is him, brother! He can't have let him go! <laughs> I'll go with you. We'll need a lot of wood for the fire. Lead straight to Monterey. Monasterio will surely have Sisquak shipped away if we don't catch up with them. Ride with the wind. An aging woman like me would only slow you down. I will sing to implore the spirits to protect you. Go on, Diego. We'll stay and detain them. Games begin. Nobody can board. Those are the orders. I promised my grandmother to come check with Captain Monasterio to see if anyone has found Sisquak. He disappeared, and Grandma's very worried. Senorita hmm. de la Vega. What a surprise. <laughs> what? Don Diego couldn't join you? Diego was at the governor's. We're looking for Sisquak. Do you know where he is? Your Indian is about to sail off on a nice long voyage hmm. in the ship's hold hmm. to a labor camp in Mexico. Oh. What do you mean? The governor pardoned him. If he stayed out of trouble, 
But you see, he has now been charged with insulting the governor. <gasps> or is it horse theft? Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, oh, no, <clears throat> Captain. We made an obituary arrest. Um, no. What was it? Oh, yeah! Arbitrary. That's the word you said. Mm. Oh, my goodness. That means that Sisquok did no wrong and should oh. go free. Isn't that what? right, Captain? Hmm. Garcia, that's one hey. month on manure oh. duty for you. Captain, hmm. at least allow me to see Sisquok. Unfortunately, this ship will soon lift its <gasps> anchor, and we must stow <gasps> the gangway. Wait! Oh. Well, now, Captain, oh. are you already leaving California without so much as a farewell? Oh, my! It's hmm. that awful Zorro! Zorro, you too belong in a <laughs> labor camp! Lancers! Arrest him! Yes, sir! Come on! Attack. Oh, catch him! Attack! Catch him! Catch him! Oh, Zoro! Senorita de la Vega! Oh, what have I done? Gaffan! Smelling salts, quick! Oh, dear! Oh, dear! Oh. Hmm. Inez! Hmm. Oh. Water. Water? Uh, water? You're right away, senorita! <laughs> Here's some water. Wait, what are you doing? You can't go in there. That's Captain's orders. <laughs> Any other takers for a midnight swim? <laughs> Is it raining jars here or what? Feeling a bit fatigued. No, no. I cannot let you see your friend. Look, Sisquok! He just got in! He's swimming away! What? Where? I don't see any. Not again! Oh, no, 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 no! <laughs> Zoro! <laughs> I'm here! Oh, I mean over here! I'll get him! Oh, Zoro! Here, Captain! <laughs> Where is Sisquok? He isn't in the hold. <laughs> he isn't there. We put him in a place that you would never guess. Captain, that Indian, Sisquok, isn't in the hold. Well, of course he's not down there, Sergeant. Because he's on board the Santa oh. Clara. That ship oh. over there that's preparing... Be quiet, you fool. <laughs> Thank you for the information, Corporal. He's amazing. <gasps> oh. Give it a good mm. look. Your dear California. Mm. You won't ever see it again. Is this the ship <gasps> offering the free trip to Mexico? <laughs> I've always wanted to see the pyramids. Zorro! 
<laughs> You've come to lose to the greatest of all fencing masters. You mean you're the best fencing master we've got? Ah, I see. That explains why the Lancers can't wield a sword. What? Take that b back! Zoro! <laughs> Get back! Don't go near this prisoner! Not even like this? Or may I do it oh. like this? <laughs> We got it! Stand back! He's all mine. <laughs> you might have to try to catch me first, Maestro. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> one point for Zoro. Yes. <laughs> oh, <Zorro. laughs> oh. I'll take that. Just be in your way up here. I'll show you who's best with a sword. Up here. Wow, impressive. Oh, good thrust. Very elegant. You think you can show me that again? <laughs> Impressive. I can't wait to see your grand finale. Oh my! That's an unusual way to attack. Soldiers, help! I'm scared of heights. Hurry, Sisquak. Dive in and swim to shore. Thanks a lot, Soro. Wait! <laughs> Don't try to hide or flee, Zoro! Come back and fight like a man! Oh, I'm right uh, over here. No, <laughs> I want down! <laughs> As you wish, Maestro. No! Oh! Ouch! <laughs> <laughs> I'm so relieved you escaped. Diego, where have you been, dear boy? At the Presidio, with hours of waiting before I could see the governor. Only to find out that Sisquak had already been set free by that cad, Zoro. Zoro and I fought off a bunch of soldiers. Oh, life's so unfair. I never get to watch the fun stuff. Zoro must be aware that Diego objects to any fighting and very considerately waits for Diego to leave before he strikes. Sure, Grandmother. That must be it. <laughs> Someone, Don Diego? Oh, hello, Sergeant. I'm waiting for the stagecoach. I ordered an original edition of Don Quixote from a book collector in Mexico City. <laughs> it's a very old book. It's over 200 years old. I can hardly wait to hold it in my hands. Ah, Don Diego, I have some bad news. The stagecoach arriving from Baja, California won't be coming today. Yes, it's terrible. Let's go in and drown our sorrows in a cup of hot chocolate. Ah! 
<sighs> I do wish I could let you know when the stagecoach will arrive, Don Diego, but uh, it's a secret. Really, Sergeant? Shh. Oh. Come on, Sergeant. You can trust me to keep a secret. Hmm? I'm not allowed, Don Diego. Captain's orders, my friend. <laughs> Dear Don Rodrigo. Mm. Dona Verdugo. The domestics didn't answer the door, so I let myself in, senor. I know you. This is not just a friendly visit. So spit it out. What do you want? I need your help, Don Rodrigo, to attack the stagecoach coming from Baja, California. <laughs> and why would I do that? Because it's transporting oodles of cash. According to my sources, the convoy should pull into Los Angeles tonight, or perhaps by morning. Mm -hmm. You and your men will do the work that you're experts at. Then you and I will divvy up the booty. How did you find out about all this? Oh, it's simple. Part of the money being transported belongs to my husband, Don Luis. <laughs> <laughs> Doña Isabella, you'd steal from your own husband. Listen, I need this money to finance his career in politics. Los Angeles needs to have an alcalde, a man capable of managing the city. But my poor Luis is too naive, and so we need some money to help him. I applaud your audacity, Doña Isabella. I truly do, but I'm not interested. What? La Rara, dentist! <gasps> yes, boss? <laughs> Show Doña Verdugo to the door, and don't let it hit her in the butt on the way out. Oh, my, how dare you! Nobody's ever spoken to me in that way. <clears throat> Catch this, you two! Ouch! Oh! Oh! <gasps> What is this? Reward for the pirate Rodrigo Malavita. Ah, Malavita. I see. You were once a pirate. Give that back now! It must be a very old story if Captain Monasterio isn't aware of it. Maybe he should be. Step and troops left. One, two, three. Quarter turn right. Left, right. Left, right. Left. Oh, 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 oh my foot. Oh, oh, oh. Huh? Gonzalez, your incompetence is completely incompetent. You've got a lot to learn. Watch this and pay attention. Company, soup's on. <laughs> Wait, yeah, that's my sword! Thank you, Bernardo! Captain. Last night, a ranchero saw a stagecoach from Baja, mm. California, making a stop at Pueblo San Cristobal. That's good. If they've stopped for the night, that means the chest of pesos will arrive tomorrow. Dismissed. <laughs> chest full of pesos, uh-huh. Now I understand perfectly why Sergeant Garcia wouldn't tell me anything. Hmm. I know the driver. Sometimes he changes horses so that he can make good time. In that case, the stagecoach might very well make it to Los Angeles tonight. I'll offer to escort it. We all know that money tends to attract bandits. Don't you think, Bernardo? Antonio? My, what are you doing here? What do you want? Your hand. Oh, how could I possibly marry you? Have you already forgotten how your father, Don Rodrigo, tried to get rid of my brother, Diego? You have my word. I had no part in the plot he hatched. You're going to have a long wait. I'll forgive you the day that it snows on the sands of Death Valley. <laughs> I can feel the cold on me already. <laughs> Hello, Doña Isabella. Well, well, the pirate son. Huh? <sighs> oh, my gracious, you mean you aren't aware of this? 
Your father used to be a pirate. Authorities knew him as Malavita. It's... no. This just can't be. It is. It's your papa. And if you don't want me to turn your father into the authorities, you will attack the stagecoach. For me. Me? Do dirty work for you? Never. <laughs> like father, like son. Were you once a pirate? Were you, Dad? What's all this about? And is our last name really Malapensa or Malavita? Pernicious lies and rumors! Father, don't lie to me! Doña Isabella showed me that wanted poster. Oh, all right. You found out. Why are you complaining? I raised you like a prince. You never lacked for anything. You've ruined everything with your lies! Including my engagement to Ines. Oh, that's all in the past. This is now. And right now, we need to leave since Donia Verdugo is certain to turn me in. We'll gather all the money we can, do one last huge heist, and then vanish with the high life like true pirates. Hmm. This is too much. Uh. Hmm. Oh, yeah, we get it, boss. Our name is Mud in this region. So before we hightail it out of here, we might as well fill up our money bags. Mm -hmm. Exactly. We'll attack the stagecoach outside of Los Angeles. The guards will be tired and feeling like they're safe. It's the perfect moment to pounce. Uh, are we doing this job for Doña Verdugo? Of course not, dummy. We're working for more. <laughs> Just like the good old pirate days. <laughs> hmm. uh oh, my, how time flies. I need to get ready to escort the stagecoach. Who knows? There could be a holdup by some nasty bandits. Wouldn't that be fun? We'll tag along. No, no, out of the question. It's dangerous. Oh, what if there's robbers by the dozen, huh? But if we're with you, you can trick the bandits by switching the chest on them. Huh? Okay, little sister, you can help me. But just this once. <laughs> You're too much, Diego Zorro. It must be carrying quite a fortune. This is Cesaro! Ah. Alert! Calm down, I'm not here to steal from you. Driver! Faster! Yeah. Faster! Ah, this is exhausting. So many explanations. <clears throat> I'm here to protect you. Yeah. Oh, please. Look, someone's coming. Yeah. They're behind us now, but riding fast. Oh, dear. Probably highway bandits. Uh, I know that you're transporting money. If those men are bandits, that's what they're after. You'd better hand it over to me. Oh, right, so that you can make off with it? Don't listen to him. You can put the money in our carriage and then ride safely to Los Angeles. Uh, I have orders. I am forbidden to entrust anyone with our cargo. Do as she says, and let me drive the stagecoach into the city. I'll give them a ride for their money. Uh... Oh, uh, all right. Uh. <laughs> Faster! 
We fooled them! <laughs> <sighs> that was a close call. <laughs> 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 yeah! 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 <gasps> That's Zorro! That sneaky thief stealing our money! Zorro! Aha! Uh -huh. Two of you now! Well, if it isn't my old pal, the dentist. <laughs> of course you realize I've already seen your face. Oh. <laughs> yeah. You move over, pal! You move over! Yeah. <gasps> oh. oh, hello, boss! <laughs> hey. Idiots! <laughs> Ah, uh, nothing! They've taken the money! I know how they tricked us! <laughs> Sorrow! <laughs> Pardon me, gents. Just passing through. <laughs> Gentlemen. Thank you. Well done, Tornado. Goodbye. Travel safe! <laughs> Just lay there like flattened pancakes. Go catch him, you ninnies! Well, boss, you gotta accept life for what it is. We failed. You're washed up. So we'll just be moseying out of here. Nothing personal, boss. We like you a lot. Even if you are stingy. Mm -hmm. And even if you do smack us on the head. All right, run then! Without me, you're nothing. Don't come sniveling back to me. I'll never take you back again. Friends, maybe that Zorro isn't quite the scoundrel they say he is. Thanks to him, we still have the safe. <laughs> yeah. My turn now. Senorita, you fight as bravely as a lion. How dare you try to pay me compliments, you thief! Listen to me! The stagecoach that was transporting fresh cash has been attacked. Oh, oh, everything you. I owned was in there! All of it? Everything? It's all gone? If the dentist was involved, then that mysterious masked rider must also work for Malapensa. I'll go to his hacienda. With a bit of luck, I'll stumble onto the stolen money. The rider was masked. He said that it'd be difficult to forgive him. Oh, so Antonio was the one who attacked us. Oh, he'll get his. Ugh! Ha! 
At last! I am proud of you, my boy. <sighs> All my souvenirs of my pirate days. We have to leave now. The money that you took will come in handy. Mm -hmm. I had a tiny sum of money on that stagecoach. But it must be even worse for people who have lost their life savings. That convoy was secret, Don Luis. Somebody had to have tipped off the robbers. <laughs> it was me! Oh, oh no! Oh. Oh. But I had to do it. When I learned Don Malapensa used to be a pirate, he threatened me to prevent me from revealing his secret. Oh, to save my life, I gave him information about the convoy. Oh, Luis, I am sorry. <laughs> if Malapensa was a pirate, there'd be a warrant out on his head, hmm. and I would know about it. But it was long, long ago and in some other region. Have a look. Hmm. Garcia! Sir, yes, sir! Oh, fall in! Uh, at your order, sir! Good morning, senores. Oh, are the rats leaving the ship? You go ahead, father. I'll deal with him. I'll meet up with you later. Oh, what an impressive swordsman. <laughs> halt, I say! <laughs> That's Melapenta! Stop him! Sir, yes, sir! Attack! You catch him! <laughs> A little gift! <laughs> Ooh! Oh, 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 All of it! <laughs> it's for me! <laughs> Soldiers! Pursue that fugitive! <laughs> Good job, senor! <laughs> But sorry. <laughs> <laughs> one Malapensa down and one Malapensa to go. Adios, senor. <laughs> what is this, payday? <laughs> Get that man, or I'll ship you off to the jungles of Mexico. Zorro! <laughs> Zorro! <laughs> 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 Still plenty for everyone. You're up to the challenge, old friend. <laughs> Zorro! Ah, finally. What took you gentlemen so long? A real pirate never surrenders. Catch him! Catch him! Catch him! Goodbye, uh, gentlemen. Oh, no. Huh? Poor man. It's a sad ending, my friends. Even for a thieving thief of a pirate. Then again, with Don Malapensa, you can never tell. Mm. He might be planning oh. to swim to the Caribbean. Mm. Uh, Zorro, get him! <laughs> Goodbye, senores. No. Ar arrest him, now! Hello there, Ines. That's for what you did last night, Antonio. But, Ines, I, I know you're still mad at me. Uh. And if you'll listen, I can explain. Oh, uh, leave Ines alone, you big brutish fiend! No, Doña Maria. Uh, <laughs> no, please! <laughs> I'll, I'll come back some other time when you're not so mad. Bye-bye uh, now! Wasn't that Antonio Malapensa? Why didn't you call us? Uh. Uh. Hey! <laughs> hmm. Yeah.
<laughs> Ow! Get your toes out of my nose! Hold still. Ouch! <laughs> Oh, aha. <laughs> wait, wait, Z. How do you spell that? <laughs> Who's there? Uh -huh. Don't oh, move, you! No! Catch me! Oh. Oh. Quick, run! Whoa. Oh. Can't be very far. Over there! Turn this off, you idiot! Look! Thieves! Come in. Excuse me, Captain. A letter from Governor Parasol. Claims I have... I have failed to solve multiple crimes committed in my region? <clears throat> what an incompetent idiot! <clears throat> I'll bet you that all these dastardly crimes have the signature of that Zorro. But, Captain, mm. Zorro hasn't ever robbed a hacienda. Meaning? Meaning we've got plenty of other bandits in California. Uh, oh. On second thought, you're right. Zorro's guilty. <laughs> Excuse me. Gotta go check on the horses. Hmm. Oh. Get your hair. Get your mates. Come on. Very cheap. Everything's cheap on sale today only. Oh. Mm. This is delicious. Oh, Bernardo. Mm. What? You haven't bought the vegetables yet. What's wrong? Mm -mm. It's a scandal. My grandparents' old clock has been stolen. Mm. Oh, they better get it back for me. Mm? Zorro robbed our house. He stole my jewels and an heirloom clock brought to California by Don Carlos Sanchez y Batista in 1792. Mm. Uh. Mm? My house, too. We got robbed in the middle of the night. I chased after a man, a masked man, and I found a Z slashed outside my door. Zorro. Hmm. That Zorro's the one who did it, Captain. What? Again? Hmm. The army does nothing. What good is paying oh. taxes? Silence. Hmm. Show me what happened. I'll investigate it myself. Soldiers, settle up. That's your orders, Captain. Sir. Yes, yes sir. sir. Everyone, follow me. Yes, sir. Ah. Find out that I stole a clock from Doña Fernanda? Mm. What's next? Stealing horses? I think I'll go and personally teach that thief a thing or two. <laughs> they was made in Madrid, you see. It's worth a bag full of pesos. Now, let's see what you got from the Verdugos. Anything good? Oh, we still haven't been to the Verdugos. What? Are you waiting for an invitation? I ordered you to go to Doña Verdugo's to get back the cufflink engraved with my arms. If she ever shows it to Monasterio, he'll know I'm the one who stole the seeds and will toss me in prison. Yes, but we also had to rob the other haciendas so that Doña Verdugo doesn't figure out you double-crossed her. <laughs> we was being mm. smart for you. <laughs> yes, but you could have done it all in one night. Uh -huh. By now, the Rancheros have surely gone to alert Captain Monasterio. He won't think it was us, boss. I slashed a Z on each hacienda. That'll trick him into thinking Zorro did the burglaries. <laughs> what is she here for this time? Whoa, stop! Hurry, hide all this in the basement. Imbeciles. Why did he call us imbeciles? Shut up! Move! Dear Don Rodrigo, good day to you. I'm in dire need of money. 
But Dona Verdugo, your husband is much, much richer than I am. <laughs> you should simply ask him. Now, now. I don't always feel like telling my husband about every plan I hammer out. I'd prefer to ask for help from my good friend, Don Malavenza. We know he'd rather not end up in prison because of his unfortunate uh? lost cufflink. This is blackmail. <laughs> very well, Dona Verdugo. I think it'd be oh so very nice if my dear friend never asked me to pay it back. <clears throat> <laughs> That's the last time that you ever give me an order, Dona Verdugo. Beware. Men, back now, to the you two, yes, let's see how Monasterio carries out his investigation. We'll follow him so we can keep an eye on him. You're smart, boss, huh? <laughs> If they catch Zorro and pin this on him, I'll finally be rid of him. <laughs> <laughs> the robber hid right over there. I heard his mm. horse nearby. Examine huh? the tracks, Sergeant. Sir, yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Move to the left while I examine the tracks. Men, no! Huh? Move left! I said left, right? But you left and went right! Now this is all that's left, and that's not right! Uh, like that, Sergeant? No! Uh, Captain, uh, let me try to fix Sergeant Garcia's lamentable failure. I have an eagle eye and can spot the tracks left by Zorro. Go, Corporal. <laughs> hmm. Over hmm. here! The bushes of broken branches, trampled by a horse! Fine, Corporal. I've got it from here. Lancers, follow the dirty thief's tracks! Yes, sir! Let's go and see that. There, Sergeant, there! Help, Sergeant! Captain, do you seriously believe the thief stayed and had a picnic here on my ranch? <laughs> Careful how you phrase things, Don Pedro. I know exactly what I'm doing. And I will arrest mm. Soro. You shall see. You're off the hook. These fools are useless. Come on. We have to go back to the hacienda to make it look like I got robbed as well. <laughs> I demand answers! We have to get to the bottom of this. My house was robbed, too. We can. Well, what about her? And him? This is outrageous. Hmm. Monasterio has to be the champion of bad investigations. I wonder how he's gonna spin this now. Silence, please! I've asked you here because it's outrageous! My home was robbed! Huh? While I was observing the investigation, my hacienda was pillaged in broad daylight. That awful Zorro stops at nothing. Mm. That's right. We have to stop him. None of this mm. adds up. Zorro's certainly no thief. Really? Then who carved a Z on my door? Wait a second. Your hacienda didn't get broken into, nor did several others, in fact. I don't believe it. Hmm. Are you accusing me? Yeah, yeah, that's right. You yeah. have no right. It's what? You aren't even capable of arresting the burglars, and you dare accuse us? Silence! Wait. I asked you to come here to listen to my plan to foil these burglaries by Zorro. Oh. Oh. I shall post guards at haciendas in the area. If Zorro shows up, We'll nab him! <laughs> Sergeant Garcia and Corporal Gonzalez will go to the De La Vegas. All the other rancheros will also get two soldiers. All righty, Don Diego. Dinner call! Uh, duty calls, yes, duty. <laughs> oh, a woman of my station deserves more than two simple soldiers. Doña Verdugo, a 
Allow me to protect your hacienda. I have some excellent men. How kind, Don Rodrigo. Thank you. <laughs> you two go accompany the Verdugos to their hacienda and protect them from burglars. <laughs> Wait, we're the burglars. Ow! Shut up, Dodo Head. You two had better find my missing cufflink while you're there. Wait. Shouldn't we be busy robbing several haciendas at the same time to confuse folks? <sighs> I'll handle mm. that. You two go get my cufflink. <laughs> so then, Yuma, we have a deal. Tonight, you and your men will break into the haciendas of the De La Vegas and the Via Longas. No. The last time that I did a job for you, my men wound up getting locked up. And it was hard for them to figure out how to escape. Mm. Well, here's something to make it worth your while. And you'll get to keep whatever you actually steal from the Haciendas. <laughs> Why don't we go break into the Verdugo's house? They're the richest. Forget it. You handle the De La Vegas and the Villalongas. I'll take care of the Verdugo Hacienda. Is that clear? Mm hmm? Hmm. What is all this, Inez? This is our artillery, Father. Uh. Look out! Uh. Ready? Is the thief here now? Uh. Already? Oh. oh, my, my, uh... Perhaps uh. we should all go hide in the forest and let you take care of this on your own, huh? Maria, you hurt me. <laughs> Take this. Whoa. What the? Surrender, you thief! Hmm. Look out, Father. Hmm. He might be mean. Hmm? Ha. Ah! Oh, oh. Hmm. Yeah. Huh? Hmm? Oops, sorry. Ah! Go away! He can't be Zoro. He can't be either. Sorry, which one of you is Zoro? <sighs> None, eh? Hmm. Yeah. What are you doing here? Sonia Mac- Quick! Run! Those folks are crazy and dangerous! <laughs> Too bad! Let's try the Via Longas. <laughs> Time for Zora. a sound and you will be just fine. Oh, that's pretty. I like it. Mine now. <laughs> help! Help! Thieves! Thieves! Senores, on guard! Take this! Help! Help! 
You called? Here I am. Zoro, at long last. Here's my chance to teach you a good lesson. Yoo-hoo! Whoa. <laughs> Whoa! Nice, tidy sum you inherited there. My pesos! <laughs> 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 Is that what you're looking for? Come and get it! <laughs> Attack! Get him! Get him! Come on, this way! This way! There he is! Help! Help! They're in the house! Quick! Hurry! Hurry! My pesos! Come on, Yuma! We have to go! We should have gone to the Verdugos! That Malapins is probably filling his pockets! Yeah, Tornado! Zoro! Oh. For you, Senorita, a gift from the thieves. Use it to help the poor people of Los Angeles. <laughs> Looking for a cufflink in a house uh -huh. as big as this one is like looking for a sardine in the ocean. Mm. It's not here. <clears throat> what are you doing? <clears throat> no! Give me that! <clears throat> Catch! <clears throat> <clears throat> Give me it! <laughs> Isabella! Give that back to me right now or you'll be sorry! Well, seriously now, do as the lady says. Yeah, here! No! No! <laughs> Don't worry, darling. We'll buy a new one. <laughs> oh. Hello! No! Not him! him. We can do it by ourselves. <laughs> Excuse me. I just came to see if you were all right. Guess so. Good night. Oh. Hmm? Hmm. Where are they? Oh. Well, uh, um, during the scuffle, your cuff link no longer links hmm? and doesn't look much like uh, a cuff. But I swept up all the bits, boss. Here, here mm. you go. <laughs> free! <laughs> I feel free! <laughs> we couldn't steal anything at those haciendas, so we're here now to take what's ours. What? <sighs> Stop them now, you two dunces! Fights like real men! Yes, boss! Aha! <laughs> 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 uh -huh. The clock. Huh? Those bandits! Mm -hmm. They took everything! <laughs> Come back here! I'll get you! All's not lost, boss. Mm -hmm. The barrel in the basement has all the booty we took. <laughs> Do you mean this booty? Uh, uh, it's not nice to steal people's belongings, Don Malapinsa. <laughs> <laughs>
dear Doña Isabella, the evidence has mm. vanished with my destroyed cufflink. You have nothing on me anymore. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and you'll never give me another order. You'll regret this very soon, Don Rodrigo. Once my dear husband uh -huh. becomes governor of California, you'll bitterly miss my friendship. <laughs> governor? Why stop there? How about King of Spain? <laughs> ah, Zorro was scared of me. He preferred to hand huh? over what he's told. Uh, no, sir, Captain. The thieves were Yaquis. I actually saw them. It wasn't Zorro. Garcia, huh? manure duty. <laughs> sir, yes, sir, sir. Sergeant, you valiantly defended our dinner. So to thank hmm. you, let me huh? buy you lunch at the huh? inn. Oh, Don Diego. What? What? <laughs> I am the one to congratulate. You were knocked out cold the whole time. <laughs> Come to think of it, the corporal sacrificed himself to test the traps that Bernardo set. He deserves a free lunch, too. <laughs> Whoa. Me, me first. He's mine. <laughs> hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> Allow me to introduce myself, Ching Li Cheng, Imperial Cartographer of His Glorious Majesty, Dao Guang, Heavenly Son, hmm. and Master of the Celestial Empire. Hmm. Don Esteban Parasol, Governor of California. What brings you here to our fair land, Senor Ching? Hmm, this map. It belonged to the famous privateer, Francis Drake. <laughs> One of the worst enemies of Spain! Englishmen pillaged dozens of Spain's ships. This is a chance to get your revenge. The map shows where he put the treasure he amassed, here in California. Oh, Drake's treasure chest? It must be worth a fortune. Said hiding place will be here, just outside of Los Angeles. Oh, an awful bandito named Zorro terrorizes that region. You'll need a military escort and a letter of recommendation for Captain Monasterio. I like this land. It's so beautiful, peaceful, and harmonious. Yep, Bernardo, it's the best place to kick back and do nothing. Diego! Mm. Huh? Bernardo! I'm going into town to get supplies for the ranch, and I'll need your strong arms. By order of the governor, Senor Ching will get all the help he needs to locate Drake's lost treasure, Francis Drake's. And if he finds it, I promise to make Los Angeles a tax-free city. Yes! Oh, <laughs> Unbelievable. How many of us have ever seen a governor say he'd stop collecting taxes? <laughs> That's right. Only in your dreams. No more mess hall. I'm going to open my own inn, my friend. And me? I'll open restaurants all named Carlitos. From one end of California to the other. <sighs> mm. I need this treasure. Besides, boss, you even kind of look like a pirate. <laughs> Congratulations, oh. Senor Ching. What an extraordinary discovery. Uh, forgive me, I haven't introduced myself. Don Diego de la Vega, honored to meet you. My pleasure, Senor de la Vega. What a nice suit. Is it made of silk? Mm. Mm. <laughs> if you should need me, just call me, Captain. I'll be glad to offer my help. I don't need your help, Don Malapensa. I want you to stay out of my soldier's way. Hmm. Yeah. This means bad news. That map might point them to my secret cave. Luckily, the map's in bad shape and a lot of it is actually written in Chumash. <sighs> Very few people can read those symbols. 
Certainly not Monasterio or Ching. Drake used Chumash symbols as secret code. This gives us a bit more time. I think I know how to ruin their treasure hunt. <laughs> <laughs> Warm day. Hmm. Well, men, how's everything going with your treasure hunt? So fascinating. A bit more to the left. What? Left. What did he say? <laughs> I think the captain said that, um, to that rock over there. I don't think that's a... Will you be oh. quiet, Corporal? I can't hear the captain. Huh? Yeah. Seagulls! I can't stand them! <laughs> Watch out, Sergeant! It's just copper, Sergeant. I don't care! I found the treasure! Oh, ho, ho. <sighs> oh Garcia, <laughs> you numbskull! It's just a dumb wreck. If it's not mm. in the bay, then it's further inland, right over that. Hmm. It's on your ranch, Don Diego. Really? Wow. How very amusing. Mm. Bravo, mm. bravo, brother. If this is how you planned to ruin their treasure hunt, it's not going very well. <laughs> Drake's treasure is buried up at the De La Vegas. Huh? <laughs> An enormous treasure. Something like millions of pesos. Oh. <laughs> millions in precious gold and rubies and diamonds. Oh, really? <laughs> you expect to find Drake's buried treasure under a cow patty, Sergeant? Uh, no, sir, Captain. You uh, was just checking. Uh, you never know. <laughs> Goodness, Sergeant. I can see you've made yet another remarkable find. A smelly one at that. <laughs> Look at that. So many intruders. If we let them have at it, we'll be rid of them faster. I've invited Ching to stay at the Hacienda under our protection. At least this way, we won't have to put up with more soldiers. Smart, huh? <laughs> My friends, please enjoy spicy Szechuan fish. A specialty from China. Hmm, good. Poor child. Uh, Need more water, dear. <laughs> you like it? Perhaps it's not spicy hot enough. <gasps> it's fine. Just perfect. You like it? Uh, here, there's plenty more. Oh, uh, um, I... <sighs> yes, those symbols are Chumash, the language first spoken in this region. My wife was a Chumash princess. My daughter Ines can help you translate this. You speak Chumash? How lucky. I'll get my magnifying glass. Hmm. Hmm. Look, the entrance to the secret cave. Move your finger. I can't see a thing. We have a saying in China. Wise man can point at moon, but idiot will only see finger. <laughs> <laughs> well, these symbols are ancient. Very hard to decipher. Look at these two circles. They probably mean there's water there. Hmm. Most likely a spring. Is it possible Drake chose a cave or grotto? <laughs> they make good hiding places. Let's check if the map has any. Uh, it's possible, but caves are just so plain. Drake wasn't an ordinary privateer, you know. He would have chosen something more original. There is an old Chinese saying that goes, maybe, maybe not. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> huh. hmm. 
He's very sharp. He still doesn't know where the cave entrance is, but he'll eventually find it. The worst is that there is no treasure. If there was one, we would have found it long ago. Well, that's not what we want him to hear. Hmm. We'll simply give these treasure hunters what they're looking for. <laughs> a treasure, but a fake one. <laughs> Bernardo's right. How could Ching's map lead them to our fake treasure? Oh, my head. I prefer sword fighting. Hmm. I know. We can make another map. It will lead Ching to our fake treasure. And we will replace Ching's map with our own little map. You stole my idea. circle is too little, and it's not the right color. Hey, wait. You told me to draw it that way. <gasps> mm. What do you mean our map is lame? It was your idea to make the stupid thing, Bernardo. We haven't much time. It's almost dawn now. We have to put the old map back. to get that map, and don't get caught doing it. Yes, sir. Don't you worry none, boss. With you, I'm always worried, idiot. Oh. Huh? Map stranger. Uh huh. Stop your sniveling. Hmm. You hand over the map, and everything will be fine. So sorry, Senor Bendito. Mosquito. Zoro. I love exercise. Uh, Zoro the Bandit. Do you mind if I join you, gentlemen? <laughs> wow, impressive. <laughs> the Bandit's over there, it's not me. Your map's attracting bandits like flies. <laughs> well, sir, I see that you can handle matters without my help. <laughs> <laughs> See you later. Yikes. Hmm. Please, come. What is this? Hmm. Oh. I hurried here. I saw it all. You aren't hurt, I hope. And the map? Uh, you still have the map? Hmm? Hmm. This map is attracting greedy eyes. You aren't safe staying at the De La Vegas. My garrison is the safest place in the region. It's full of soldiers. You can count on us, Captain. Mm. Sure. Ah, uh, you'll probably like my specialty. Pickled squid eyes mm. in sour seaweed mm. juice. <laughs> Fire! 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 Fire!
Yeah, Corporal, where are you? Here, huh? Sergeant, beside the inn. It's on fire! The inn's on fire! It's the end of the world! Ow! <sighs> Sergeant Garcia, Corporal Gonzalez. Smell something burning, Sergeant? Anyone would. There's a fire, of course, you fool. The... Ah! Oh, I'm burning! I'm burning! Do something! Ah. Move it! Hurry it up! Hmm. Hmm. <sighs> the map! Is it at all possible that I left it on the captain's desk? I'll change a couple of details to hide the entrance to the cave and put them on the wrong track. They'll soon realize that this is a diversion. Hurry, let's put it back. I must have left the map in your office. Shall we go in and get it, sir? <laughs> Don't understand. It's stuck. Come, help us, men! Huh? <laughs> Hurry, you nincompoop! Well, hello, Captain. Zorro! You're not out setting an example? Why are you indoors instead of putting out the fire? Open this door right now and surrender! Mm, no thanks. How strange is it that a dangerous bandit can enter the safest fort in California? Oh. oh, we don't have a fire. This is a trick. Another dirty trick signed Zoro. What's wrong? Locked out. Has Zoro taken over as captain? If Zoro was the captain here, he would have already caught himself. <laughs> <laughs> Just what do you mean by that, Sergeant? <laughs> Attack! Hmm. Take back the garrison! Would somebody care to tell them they're attacking their own garrison? <laughs> <laughs> Quick! Here! <laughs> <laughs> Yoo-hoo, I'm up here. Come on, now don't be shy. No, no, no. Again? Watch this. <laughs> oh, what a close call. Doña Ines. That was fun! Ah. Yeah, tornado! Up there! 
Move six paces, then dig. <laughs> so sweet. Victory is at hand. <laughs> Knew it! I hurried here as soon as I could. At last, my hour of glory has come. <laughs> this treasure was Drake's. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Sir Drake's treasure, Your Excellency. It's so mm. unfair, since you were the one who did all the hard work. <laughs> <laughs> That's Drake's treasure chest? What a joke! I don't understand. <sighs> Drake must have had stinky huh? feet and filthy toes. Mm. That's one of Dad's boots. <laughs> there will be sanctions, quite severe ones. Fatigue duty for you and your men. <laughs> no treasure. That means nobody gets anything. Are you disappointed? If our dear captain hadn't been so eager, I might have popped his bubble and told him that the chest was too new. The real treasure probably vanished long ago, as usually happens. Huh? My hmm. secret spicy ingredient, so you can cook Chinese style. Yeah, my goodness, thanks. My father loves this. Mm -hmm. He kind of grows on you. He's got a friendly smile, but this is too spicy for me. A letter from the governor. It must be an invitation to a ball. What? Soldiers who can't even capture Zoro don't deserve to be in His Majesty's army. <laughs> oh. Any one of them might be Zoro. Him. It's terrible. Him. Dude, anybody? That's why he probably wears that mask, Captain. Mm. So we can't recognize him. Quiet, mm. you idiot. He must no. have a distinguishing Believe feature, this I Zoro. But what? <laughs> one distinguishing feature of that Zoro is he's young. Mm. Gonzalez, mm? say that again. I, I simply mm. noticed Zoro looks young. Exactly. Uh. He is young. Good work, huh? Corporal. You have just given me an ingenious idea. And that's cause for a oh. promotion. <laughs> Thank you, Captain. Uh. Hmm. It's just that there's lots of young men in California. How will we know which one's Zorro? Shut up, Garcia, and listen for once. We simply arrest them all, one by one. Every young man in the region until Zorro stops appearing. That way, I'll know I finally nabbed him. Oh! Uh, I'm uh. terribly sorry, sir. That was my fault. Throw him in jail, now! <laughs> Arrest him! Halt! <sighs> Come now, Captain. Manuel accidentally bumped into you. <laughs> my dear De La Vega, Manuel is young enough to be Zorro. He'll be the first suspect on my list. Arrest him! No, please, I have a family! Oh. oh! What is this rebellion? He's young, too. Arrest him and toss him in prison! Bernardo can't be Zorro. He's deaf and mute! Hmm, <laughs> that makes two. The list grows longer. Hmm. Hmm? Hmm. Look, 
Oh, poor Bernardo. That cell must be terribly uncomfortable. And Diego is snug in his warm bed, sound asleep. I tried to wake him, but couldn't rouse him. <laughs> hmm? Uh, I'm tired. <laughs> Alert! Zorro is here! Garcia, whatever you do, don't let him escape! Yes, Captain. Yes. Garcia, you dummy! Behind you! Zorro! Ah, excellent, Garcia! Keep on spinning like a top! You like this? Sergeant, I've never seen your secret pass. Perhaps we'll call it the Whirlwind of Los Angeles? Watch this! This time, his goose is cooked. Uh. <laughs> oh, sorry, Corporal. Lost my balance. Oh. Hmm. Well, my dear, you seem to be very concerned for that outlaw. Not at all. I, I'm afraid that awful Zorro might escape from you once more. <laughs> Goodbye, senor. Zorro! Captain, we might as well release these two suspects since mm. neither one is, you know, Zorro. Oh, no, we won't, Corporal. We'll keep them locked up. <laughs> they are part of my plan. Citizens of Los Angeles, all young men are suspected of being Zorro. Lancers, round them up. Yes, yes sir. Huh? Halt! Uh, oh. Pardon me, Captain, but I'm guessing that'd be half the men of Los Angeles. That's a lot of men, uh. for sure. <laughs> ah, I said arrest them. You too, uh. my dear friend. Oh. <laughs> Let's be serious. I could never wriggle into Zorro's clothes, even with a girdle on. I am not Zorro. That's plain absurd. That may be, but he's in here among you. I can feel it. What? You mean I'm locked up with that terrible Zorro? That bandit? That outlaw? Let me out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, Gonzalez, you're just the man I need. You take ah. over for me. Wait, I just stuffed all the mattresses with new straw. Sorry, Corporal, but I am your sergeant. That was an order. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> all finished, Sergeant. Not a single tater left. Hmm, what? My, my. Then we absolutely have to hurry and take all the prisoners out to the fields and gather more potatoes. It's mainly because they're innocent. We must set them free. I need to find a way to get out of here. <laughs> I have a good idea. For two oh, days, nay, for two moons, no foods graced our forks or spoons. And this, upon the captain's orders, shall we never again leave these borders? Oh, no. ah, stop it. Oh, it's horrible. Every man must have food, oh. broiled, boiled, or stewed. Oh, I'm dreaming of beef him. soup oh, and cakes for my sweet, Friend! Uh, no. Sweet tooth! No. Please, stop him! You have to help us! My friends, no need to applaud. That was my morning poem. Soon you'll hear the midday, the afternoon, and the evening poems. Whoa! Oh. Oh. Captain, sir, we've nothing left to eat. And Don Diego's poetry is keeping the soldiers from enjoying a siesta. Yeah, yeah from doing chores. Sergeant, huh. only one thing interests huh? me. My plan's off to a good start because Zorro hasn't appeared once since we tossed all those suspects into prison, which is proof positive that that bandit is right here inside the garrison. You follow me, Sergeant? Mm-hmm. Captain, you're a genius! <laughs> <laughs> uh. Oh, look! Hmm. Uh, 
that one there. Huh? Huh. <laughs> this keeps up, I'll lose a week's salary. You bumbling <laughs> fools! Is this how you guard the prison? Hmm. If Zoro isn't here, he must be here. How simple. <laughs> With all his obsessing over Zoro, our dear captain's gone bonkers. You may be right, Sergeant. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Huh? Hands off, soldier. You'll get yours and so will everyone else. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you, you said everyone. Does that include us military men? Of course, Sergeant. <laughs> We've even brought a double serving, especially mm. for you. Oh, <clears throat> much obliged, ladies. <laughs> Ines, lovely to see you. As always, you look splendid, even behind bars. Hello, uh, Antonio. You seem to need a good bath. Well, I, once the captain lets us out of this place, uh, I'll come visit you. You haven't forgotten, Antonio. I'm still quite upset. My goodness, Diego. We shouldn't make you sleep on the ground. Now, don't worry. Zoro will come and fix all of this. Zoro? It's his fault that we're locked up here. <laughs> Zoro is courageous, and he'll fight for justice. Forgive me for interrupting your endearing reunion. But, Carmen <gasps> Violonga, you are under arrest. <gasps> Carmen? There must be an error. I saw what she did the other evening. She helped Zoro get away. That's called treason. And arrest Ines de la Vega. She's obviously her accomplice. That's absurd. You might as well arrest my horse while you're at it. Right now. Hey, no. What? Out of my way. <sighs> I've now assembled all the bait we need to attract mm. Zoro. I don't get any of this. Isn't Zoro already locked up mm. in the garrison? <sighs> Do you want me to repeat that for you again? Uh. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. I will now release, one by one, our prisoners. If one of them is Zoro, uh. he will rush back to save Ines de la Vega and Carmen Villalonga. You see what I mean? Hmm. How will we know which one is Zoro? It's very simple. See, Corporal Gonzalez here gave me the idea with his Shuffle the Pebble game. Ooh. <coughs> Uh, hey, Captain, could we perhaps release Don Diego before anyone else? We're mm. fed up with his poetry. De La Vega? Not a chance in Hades, he's Zorro. Empty bellies oh. growl in the prison huh? cells of Los Angeles, California, who... <laughs> ...besides <laughs> is craving pumpkin... Ah! Oh, 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 right. <sighs> that does it! We will set him free first! Phew! <sighs> Thank you, Captain. Don Pedro. You were cleared in the investigation. You can go home now. Not like Carmen Villalonga or Ines de la Vega. Those traitors. They are riding, as I speak, on their way to Monterey, taking the Camino Real. They will certainly get banished by the governor. Go now, you're free. <laughs> there you go. If Zorro shows up on the Camino Real, then the real Zorro can be none other than Don Pedro. <laughs> ah, my dear De La Vega, our investigation has cleared you, and you're free to go home to... My sister Ines and Carmen? Alas, I cannot do anything for them. They're on their way now to Monterey via the beach road. The governor will certainly banish them. This error is tragic. I shall protest vehemently to the governor. Sergeant, will you accompany Don Diego home, please? By force, if need be. Sir, yes, sir! Don Diego, I'm very sorry for Carmen and your sister Ines. You know who's to blame, Gonzalez. Really, Sergeant? Worst thing is, you get a fat promotion. Oh, no. I swear, it was him. And it was that bootlicker who gave the captain the idea to set you free so he could see if you're Zorro. Hmm, interesting. The captain told you the lovely senoritas and took the beach road. That way, if you're Zorro, you'd rescue them, and the captain would have proof that Zorro is you. Mm-hmm. 
the captain did the same thing with Don Pedro, but told him that they took the Camino Real. My gracious, don't you worry, though, Don Diego. We all know you're not Zorro. <laughs> Sergeant, I can't possibly prevent Gonzalez from cozying up to the captain. But I can offer you a hearty meal back at the Hacienda. Yeah! Yeah! Woo -hoo! Mm. yeah woo! Stay hidden, men. If that devilish Zorro comes, or rather, Don Pedro, we'll flail his hide. What are you doing? You waiting for someone? Yep, waiting for Zorro. We're gonna trick him into... Huh? <laughs> Alert! Zorro! What? what? Zorro! Look out! Zorro! <laughs> <laughs> we got Zorro! Surround him! This time, he won't get away. Don Pedro, we yes. got you. Catch him! <laughs> Missed! Huh. And watch this. <laughs> Beautiful day for a stroll, gentlemen. Los Angeles is just a two-hour walk. <laughs> huh. I see. You've arrested us, and it's all just one big trap for Zorro. You ought to thank me. I'm willing to overlook your suspicious behavior. Once that outlaw has been identified, you will be allowed to return home. Ugh. Calm down, you two. It's highly unlikely Zorro will show his face here. We set a trap for Don Diego, and as everyone knows, he'd be one puny Avenger. But I preferred to enjoy the company of you lovely senoritas. I couldn't leave you all alone on this beach in the dark of the night. You <laughs> Zorro! My apologies, Captain. I'm a tad late. It can't be him. Troops! Go get him! <laughs> <laughs> Quite a catch we have here. No small fry. <laughs> On guard! You can take off the mask. I know who you are, Zorro. You're Don Diego de la Vega. Don Diego? Are you very sure? <laughs> That's for having arrested these two senoritas. Both charming and both innocent. Ah, I got seed! <laughs> Captain Monasterio promised to let us go, Senor Zorro. Please don't get in worse trouble by hurting him. <laughs> it was a pleasure to rescue you, ladies. Adios! What a show-off that Zorro is. You can run away, Zorro, but I've unmasked you. I have won! <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>
Let's go, Tornado. Don Diego, are you up? You ready to join me downstairs for breakfast? Buen <laughs> dia, Sergeant. I slept like a baby. Hmm. Go on down to the kitchen. I'll join you there. <laughs> Phew. <laughs> Doña Maria, your raisin bread. <laughs> oh, uh, huh? Captain Monasterio. <sighs> Ines, Carmen, you're both free. How wonderful. Don Diego, <gasps> last night you were on the beach, and you were the only one who knew we would <clears throat> be there. That means that Zorro is you, pathetic little outlaw. Huh? I was where? What basically? Arrest him. No! Mm. Wait, hold, hold on. Hey. Stop this, Captain. Hmm. Diego! Citizens of Los Angeles, you can now sleep easy. That dastardly Zorro won't cause any more trouble. Here he is. Oh. Huh? Diego? Mm. Uh, Captain, I'm pleased to say your plan mm. worked. Zorro galloped out onto the Camino Real. Zorro stands before you, Don Pedro. It's not me. I'm innocent. Wait, how could that... Oh. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Zorro has to be one of these two individuals I released. He's either Don Pedro or Don Diego. Oh. Huh? Where are the prisoners? Well, see... They all took off pretty early last night. But if all our suspects went free last night, that means that any one of them could be Zorro. No! No big deal, Captain. We can simply arrest them all again. Gonzalez, this whole idea was yours, you fool. Prepare to scrape horseshoes for the next month. Get out of my sight! <laughs> <laughs> Captain, I've thought matters over and have reached a decision. This can't go on. Arrest me. Huh? Huh? <sighs> I can't bear this. Throw me oh. in prison. You will then see I'm truly innocent when the real Zorro shows up. Bring me my poetry books. <laughs> Get out! This garrison is not a hotel! Oh. Gentlemen, let me back in! Please! <laughs> <laughs>